Okay, so to get started, what we're first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a new project and we're going to import some data and take a look at the data set that we have. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File in Business Center. If you haven't launched the program, you want to launch that first, obviously. And I'm going to go to File New. I'm going to use a standard template that came with the installation of Business Center, just using the U.S. Survey Foot template. And I'm going to click OK. That's going to go out and it's going to create a very basic uh, project for us uh, could save it at this particular stage um, we can save it later but probably a good idea to go ahead and save it and call it corridor model whatever it is or maybe the project that you're working on you can go ahead and save it there the next thing we're gonna do is bring in the data so let's take a look at the data that we have um, I'm gonna bring over my Windows Explorer here and in this I've got a bunch of different uh, information I've got a base model uh, I've got some proposed property lines I've got some proposed grading uh, as well as some other XML files. The one I'm going to start with though is this base model and in this base model you'll see that I've got some CAD data. So I'm just going to left click and drag and drop that in. Um, again I could use the import tools uh, inside of Business Center but uh, I like drag and drop is just as simple. It's a CAD file it knows it recognizes it. You can see it's got a couple warnings and some error messages. We're going to go ahead and ignore those for now and I'm just going to click OK. It's going to take a fairly large file. There's a lot of data in here, so it may take a few moments to uh, actually pop up. One of the other things that I just want to point out is that it's actually out in space. You can see there's a little dot over here, um, way over here. And that's a lot of that comes from the CAD data that was um, uh, how it was exported from whatever CAD application. Um, and there's some junk that's probably way down there in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes it's a tie to maybe a reference or a block as well. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to clean this up. Now you can see it's a fairly large site. We're going to focus in on this smaller area down here. And that smaller area is what we're going to build. We're actually just going to work with one of the roads. But it's um, as I zoom in you can see there's uh, a few different, um, a couple different roads going around. We're just going to start with one road. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how I would kind of tie in the intersection as well. Um, not completely doing the intersection, but just kind of show you how to model around that intersection uh, so that you don't have curb and gutter running through uh, the uh, the entrance or the, the tie in there. So we'll show you that. You see there's a roundabout here. We'll build on this data set as we go into more and create more videos as well. But I'm going to start with this. Uh, the first thing also that we want to take a look at is over here behind me is the uh, it's got some planner or some profile views. All right. So we've got data there. What we also want to take a look at is the PDF document. So uh, I'm going to open up that PDF document and we'll take a look at what's here. Um, you can see on page three, we've got a typical cross section of our road. So when you're doing a corridor, you need an alignment, a vertical uh, alignment or vertical profile, as well as a typical cross section. It's a typical cross section that we're going to use as a template. And we're going to push that along the road. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, here uh, in this uh, following videos. All right, a couple other things as I come down here, you can see that I've got some uh, some plan and profile sheets. Okay, the, this is the actual sheet we're going to use, which is on page 12. Um, we're going to create this road here. We're going to kind of skip the uh, roundabout, but I want to verify, and something you want to do is you want to look at the CAD data. So look at those profiles in our drawing, as well as the profile that's on this plan sheet, and we want to match this plan sheet because the plan sheet is typically the uh, uh, contract document it's the one that's signed the one that's sealed that's the one that's really uh, that you're holding to sometimes the CAD data isn't always as accurate because uh, somebody did some changes to it before and then printed it or you know kind of saved that or gave you an out of date one so you always want to make sure that you've got the most current and that's why it's good to compare your PDF data with your CAD data so keep that in mind All right, so we're going to use that but um, the main piece that I want on this PDF as well, like I said, is, is this uh, typical section. You also see that there are some uh, curb and gutter details and we're going to need those depending on how detailed and depending on the level of detail you want for your particular model. All right, So we'll come back to this PDF here in a moment. We don't need that either, so we'll move that out of the way. Now, just to kind of prepare this data a little bit more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all this other junk. So because I had something way out in space, I'm just going to do a window around everything here. So it's selecting everything that is in this area. Notice it didn't select this object. 
that object is because it's a, a block and there's some garbage that's tied to it out in the middle of nowhere. I don't need that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my edit tab. I'm going to invert my selection and I'm just going to go ahead and delete. And now when I just double click my wheel, it does a zoom extents and shows me uh, just this information. The other thing that I know I don't need is this, all these points. Uh, it's a big block. It's actually taking up a little, uh, some resources that I don't need. I'm not too concerned about that because all I want is this road. So I'm going to delete that as well. So again, just kind of cleaning this up a little bit, making it a little simpler and uh, smaller. Um, you can see there's a tin boundary for the existing surface. You know, I may need this information later on when I start wanting to tie the road in or start doing, you know, cut and fill volumes. Um, I, you know, I could use this. So I'm going to come back to that. So I'm not going to delete that, but I just want to keep it in the drawing but I want to hide it because I don't want to see it. So one of the things that I like to do, and some of you may have seen this before, is just you know setting up a layer filter. So what I'll do is I'm going to come over and I'm going to create a new layer filter. So I'm copying that one that's there and I'm going to call it design. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and I'm going to select just the information that I'm looking for here. So I'm going to pick this, I'm going to hold my shift key down, I'm going to pick this, you know, uh, these objects here, which are my alignments, as well as I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to select these uh, uh, profiles as well, okay? And then I'm going to invert that selection and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hide the non-visible uh, layers. All right, and I'm going to click OK. Oops. Let's do it. Or not, sorry, hide. I'm sorry, I'm going to hide the layers that I selected. So I picked the wrong one. All right, so I'm going to pick that one. Uh, I picked the wrong option there. So it's this icon here. So what it's done is it's basically just hid and turned off everything else. If I want to see everything and go back to my filter, and everything is, comes back on. So again, just a way to kind of quickly isolate my uh, information for me so that I can get and see and look at just what I'm, I'm interested in seeing, okay? Um, we also notice, uh, for some reason, I my road centerline profile, so I'm just gonna click on that and actually turn that back on. So even if you set it, you can still go back and make changes to it you know, after the fact. So this is the road we're gonna work on, it's called Paisley. Um, we're going to use it, and if I look at my plan sheet, I know I'm at uh, station 500 plus zeros, so I'm gonna look over my profile and this is the profile that I'm going to use. Okay. You also notice that it's pretty simple. It's just got a bunch of grade breaks in there. And we can see we got some storm structures as well. So you're going to see how this all ties together here shortly. Um, but that's kind of the first thing we needed to do is kind of get things set up, uh, get things organized so that we know what we have. So it's kind of doing a little bit of data review, looking at your data, cleaning up, starting up your project, getting it organized, and then you can really start rocking and rolling, uh, creating this corridor model. So we'll show you that next.